reports uh, 104 dealers will build separate Bronco showrooms. Now, the popularity of a new SUV is behind a move to a sub brand style separate sales area, which is going to make a lot of sense. And it's going to bring that emotional connection that you're supposed to get with your Broncos. It's going to make it epic and an epic experience owning a Ford Bronco. Automotive News is reporting that a new voluntary program will encourage Ford dealers to create standalone Bronco stores that have room for at least three vehicles inside, a display wall for accessories, and a fire pit. By building out Bronco stores, dealers will get more vehicles to sell from Ford in greater access to Bronco's accessories, which should drive up profits, which means the better access, the better the profits. With Bronco sales about to start, we can look at 23,356 Bronco Sport SUVs sold in the first quarter. In effect, that Ford said 60% of these were conquests for non Ford brands. To see this is likely a way to print money. We don't need to tell you that Ford new Jeep Fighter, the revived Bronco, has garnered a fair bit of attention. There's the official company sponsored fan website, Bronco Nation, as well as many actual fan run pages. The first edition model, with event ending in 001, sold for over a million dollars. At the Barry Jackson Scottsdale auction last month, and now Ford's dealers are gearing up to launch the standalone Bronco stores to encourage buyers to check out the new SUV as well as get more vehicles to sell for Ford. Automotive News is reporting that around 100 U.S. Ford dealers will be b building separate Bronco stores, basically creating a third brand for the automaker alongside Ford and Leakin. While the publication and this idea came from the dealers themselves who worked with Ford to come up with ideas for what these stores might look like. Ford has been pushing its dealers to spend money promoting the Bronco brand. In January, uh, Ford Authority reported that dealers who invested cold hard cash into the Bronco showrooms will be allocated more Broncos to sell. The website said that an investment of at least $12,500 would get a dealer one more Bronco to sell. And there was a sliding scale up to six more vehicles for investments over $75,000. Automotive News says that Ford now expects around 100 dealers across the country will build one of these Bronco specific stores. And it's, much, it's going to be much like this Huntington Beach uh, Stellantis store for the Jeep. This is how, you know, the design is going to look. Now, aside from small vehicles allowed at a separate Bronco store, would also allow the dealer to display and sell more Bronco accessories, which are a prime way to increase profits. The automaker is wondering that it shared with the dealer last fall show a modern showroom with room for three vehicles, a display wall for the accessories, and an outdoor fire pit. It looks so cool that the type of owner is an enthusiast. Jim Morshear, general manager of Rickard Ford in Groveport, Ohio, told Automotive News that Jeep people are in love with their Jeeps. Ford thinks they'll breed that same enthusiasm with the Bronco. And if you have that facility, they think people will want to go there to see all the accessories. And perhaps buy some of these accessories because they look epic. Now, of course, other branded sub-brand stores have been tried and shuttered over the years, wrangling from the GMC Hummer to the Fords on and now retired Mercury. But by pushing accessories, four standalone Bronco stores are taking the page out of Stellantis' encouragement of standalone Jeep stores last year. A dealer told Automotive News that the filling in a Jeep only store just seemed different than when the brand was mixed in with other Stellantis models. This Jeep lifestyle is different, he said. In a standalone store, these people are fun. They wear blue jeans. They wear t-shirts. They are definitely in the upper income model. It is amazing what people will do and what they will spend personalizing their vehicles. You would almost say, you know, in a way it is insane. But it makes a lot of sense. You think about Land Rover and Land Rover. You go into a Land Rover store, you feel nothing but specialness. And if you're a Land Rover customer, 
this is what you get. I mean, you get the this lifestyle. Remember Land Rover years ago? They started their they started their own. They had their own obstacle course built behind the uh, Land Rover store. And whenever you went to Land Rover, they would take you on that course behind the store. They do they do that um at a dealership called Reeves Import Motor Cars here in um, Tampa. The same thing. This is gonna work for Ford. This is A Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and have a fantastic day. And you guys are fantastic for coming to the channel. Thanks for coming. Hey guys, it's A Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching the video. Appreciate your time. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and have a fantastic day. We out.